Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today. So I woke up this morning, y'all, on newsfeed on my Instagram that there is a Blockbuster palette. I said, you, it just brought all the memories back the instant that I heard it online and, well, saw it on Instagram. I got really excited. I was like, you know, I was like, first of all, there's a palette. I don't know if it's new, y'all. I don't. I, it said new on, um, Instagram, but it's, people were saying it's new, it's new, just coming out, just came out, or whatever, but, um, when I looked online, it wasn't showing that it was available uh, to buy it in person, but I went to the Hot Topic, we're here where I live in Virginia, and I found it, so, we're gonna play with it today. Alright y'all, so I went to Blockbusters and got me a movie, I'm just playing. This is the palette. I am so excited. I already opened it. Uh, I, did, I wanted to open it with y'all first. I already saw the photos online, kind of. But um, I wanted to do it first with y'all. But I opened it just because there was no um, protection around it. There was nothing, really. It, it, you just, you can open it. So, I was like, I gotta make sure that this is not broken. Before I'm gonna do an, you know, a review with y'all. It looks... Just like when you rented a movie at Blockbusters. It says here, I love this. Be kind, rewind. The company I believe it is from Taste Beauty. Never really heard of it. And it's cruelty free y'all. And all it says is eyeshadow palette. Which is cool. Okay. So let's open it up y'all. Bam. Y'all see that? Let me take out, so it has the plastic, a little protection, which is cool. I'm gonna take it out, it's kinda sealed at the end. It has like a little sticker at each end of it. I'm gonna rip that off. There you go. So y'all, it has 12 shades, they each have a name. It comes with a mirror, again, this was, this was for the price of $16.90. Online, I believe it's $13 if you order it. I was trying to find it in person. I had put online, Hot Topic, it said unavailable in my store. It's like 20, 30 minutes away from me. And I was like, well, I'm just going to go in person to see if they have it. I went in there, I asked the girl, do y'all have this palette? And she wasn't really sure, she looked kind of confused. I was like, well, it's all, all over social media, so I don't... She's like, you can chat. And I went and I looked underneath, like, the little shelf that they had, like, down. And I saw it, like, back there. So I was like, give it to me. I want to try a few looks, y'all, just so, like, y'all can see what it's like. I'm going to swatch all of these first. Feel the texture see what it looks like on my arm and then we're gonna do a look with this y'all and see what it's like with applying on the eyes and the application and if it goes on pretty good I mean it's $16 I'm just excited with the packaging that kind of excited me to be honest like if we're gonna find out if it's good let me stop talking so much the first swatch we're gonna do is the yellow one new releases I'm gonna swatch right here. It feels soft as I'm swatching it. Okay. I got a good little amount right there. I'm gonna go right here, y'all. Can you can y'all see that? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not as pigmented, but what did I expect for $16? It's not bad. The next color is Adventures. Let's swatch this one. Okay, it's kind of light. It's not as pigmented. Next one is going to be Classics, which is white. Let's see how this looks like. This one is white. It's kind of chalky. I won't lie. I'm kind of worried about what it's going to look like on my eyes. There's white, y'all. Let's look at Drama, which is black. Here's Drama. Let's 
there is black for, I'm really putting in my finger to try to dig it to get as much pigment as I can this is what I'm getting I have wipes right here let me wipe off the colors so I can continue swatching the next color it is family which is a very light kind of pale yellow oh so try to put it right in the middle y'all see that that's just, that's kind of cute it's kind of cute I actually kind of went on pretty pretty good that's a pale yellow the next color is sci-fi which is a brown there's that for y'all I want y'all to see this so y'all know what these look like swatched on the next color I'm gonna go with is comedy which looks like kind of like a gray it's like a grayish color these are the colors y'all I want to show y'all here I'm gonna go with the gray I'm gonna go with the rest right here so this is comedy y'all it's like a grayish color grayish blue kind of color I like that kind of well I don't like the pigment much but the color is pretty the next color is cartoon which is like a green kind of color I got some on right there let's try it I love the colors I just wish it was more pigmented but again let's see what it looks like on the eyes I clean my fingers again y'all so I'm gonna do this one action and television next so this one is horror right here like horror movies that's not bad that's not bad pigment actually that actually kind of felt the texture felt kind of different it felt even softer action which is kind of like a plum kind of color which is I'm gonna swatch next right now this is kind of like giving me a plum vibe light also last one I'm gonna do is television let's see yeah, I can kind of see the yellows that they came went out with this is kind of like an orange yellow that looks like it on the palette on my hands just looks like yellow so here are the swatches y'all now, now let's see how it applies on my eyelids Give me a second, y'all. I gotta stretch my arm. <laughs> Holding it up like that, y'all. Like, y'all watch it for like two minutes on camera, but this is killing me. Oh, Lord. I'm already primed on my lids. So we're good. Y'all see how it's like white, yellow, and blue? I wanna do a look with those famous colors that it's known for for Blockbuster. So I'm gonna do blue, white, yellow a little bit of this on my crease we'll see how this turns out we'll try these on my eyes and then the next look I want to play with on my other side of the eyes will be more like the browns and the plum and black so the first color I'm going to do is classic all over the lid ooh that's a lot let's see I want to use it as my base it's very light, it's not as pigment, but it's doing the job. Y'all can see the difference because I do have redness around my eye area, so it does cover that up. Honestly, not bad. Not actually, actually, that's not bad. I actually thought it wasn't going to cover that much. Okay, and y'all can see the difference. Okay, so I got my base on. Now I want to play with the blue on my lid. Adventures is going to be the next color I'm going to use. Right on my lids, all across. I'm looking down at my mirror. Sorry, what? There is a bit of fallout. There's a little pigment. It's a little bit of pigment. Grab a little more. Oh, there's a lot of fallout. Can y'all see that? Yeah. I I'll clean it after. This is not too bad, y'all. This is, I mean, for, what, $16? From Hot Topic. That's not bad. 
So there's the blue so y'all can see that. What y'all think? Is it the best blue I ever used in my life? No. It had, I'll say this, it gave me more pigment than what I expected. Now I'm going to do the yellow. I am going in with new release right on the crease. The pigment, never mind y'all, it does not mix well. It's... Doesn't mix that well. Can y'all see the yellow? A little bit, right? I'm just grabbing a little more. Not so much. Alright. I didn't expect much, y'all, so I put white, blue, and yellow. You know what I'm gonna try? This right here on my list. I just, I'm just curious to what this looks like. If this would have came out bomb, the pigment, I would have like done a full on like really got artsy with this, but I'm not about to waste my time on that. Let's try a cartoon, y'all, the one I just showed you. Okay, this is cartoon on top of the yellow. Kinda going above. I am literally looking at the little monitor of this camera. So if it doesn't look that great, don't not come for me. I'm trying not to blink as much. There is a lot of fallout. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best thing in the world. I'm gonna try hard right on my lid. I want to try to be fair with y'all, this is probably cute to like, if you don't like really strong pigment, I can see how this would work out for you. You know, just throw in a little color, blend it, mascara, and call it a day. You know what I mean? This is cute. Oh no. <laughs> Not bad. I like it as a very soft, everyday little pop of color. That's it. Now let's try action. I want to try action right on the lid. You know what, I'm liking this eye, even though it's not like the best. I could really do a whole look with this if I wanted to. But with the little, you know what I need to buy y'all? A monitor, a big monitor. I'm gonna try to buy that soon, so I can really look at the monitor as I'm doing the makeup. This trying to look at the little screen is not the best thing in the world. It's not bad. It's, it's, you know what I mean? It's not bad. It's, this is action. Sorry, it's focusing on my fingers right now. You know what I want to try next? The black. Let's try the black, y'all. Let's see what black looks like. You know what? I'm going to try black on the bottom of my eyes. Huh. Let me try to put this a little bit on my crease. Mm. 
this is not the best planning. This is like the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> but I'm showing y'all, so that was the whole point. Um, okay. My eyes look ridiculous. <laughs> it's not... Listen, it's $16, you know, it's just a... Uh, their main thing is just, you know, to have... To, I love the packaging. I love, again, the packaging. So, the colors basically that we use were these colors right here, this one right here, this right here, that right there, and the black. We pretty much kind of have a good idea what this palette is about. Um, it's not the bomb.com. It is not, um, gonna change my life as an artist. Or for me, period. <laughs> But again, I just love to have this collection just because Blockbusters bring so much memory to me, being a kid, you know, going to pick out the movies with my dad, you know, and then with my partner that I used to be with. It was fun. I used to get really excited to go. Okay, y'all, enough with this palette. It is not the best thing in the world. I feel like if you were to do an Urban Decay, I believe it's Sin Primer. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Sin Primer that really makes colors pop, makes their pigment stronger. This would probably come out a lot better, but I'm not going to do all that because I really want to give you an honest, true review about this palette. And this is, you know, this is the beauty of it. <laughs> um, we kind of already knew what was it was going to be anyways the minute I started swatching it. But yeah, make sure y'all to like and subscribe, like down below, subscribe y'all, follow me on the boy Monroe on Instagram. I'm just gonna throw this into my makeup collections. That's it, and it's gonna stay there. Packaging, that's really the main reason I bought it y'all. So, and also, now I can see why it's a final sale. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, love y'all so much, see you on the next video.